All right, how we doing today, y'all? All right, uh, if I didn't mention it already, I got, uh, let's see here, 18 November, all right? Getting close to, the, uh, to Thanksgiving here. All right, I think it's like a, a week away, a week from today. So that's if you celebrate such a thing. All right, I'll probably be at home just making spaghetti. But anyway, look, let's get right into it, all right? These are things that you just cannot do, and I'll tell you that here in a minute. And they're taking, airlines are taking this stuff very, very seriously. So this article is from CNN and News Nation. Okay, be careful about, I'm telling you about putting your hands on people. You can't do, again, let's, let's just talk about it. So this flight, Southwest flight from Dallas to New York, okay, on this flight, as the passengers were boarding, one passenger uh, by the name of Ariel Jackson, okay, uh, had verbally and physically abused and assaulted a Southwest employee, gave her a closed fist punch in the mouth, okay, uh, over mass, and she was uh, taken into custody the employee was treated for injuries and she took some medical leave. All right, so as a result, Ms. Jackson was fined $26,000. This is from the FAA. And also, she got out of jail on the $10,000 bond. Okay, so you have to look, 26000 and the 10000 those are some hefty fines. Okay, uh, what else? Now, this is getting to a point to where now these airlines want to start seeking federal prosecution, okay? They're, they're talking to the feds about this, and uh, they want to upbeat uh, their the way that they take actions, okay? Because this thing is getting out of, in, uh, out of control, okay? Now, just so you'll know a little bit of, of facts, in, tw in 2021, six out of 10,000 flights, every six out of 10,000 flights, okay, were uh, dealt with for situations like this, all right? Last year, 2020, okay? The year prior, it was three out of 10,000 flights. Uh, they have been issued $225,000 in fines, FAA fines. Uh, let's see, canceled flights, because other passengers got to get to where they need to go to because the flight could be, you know, as a, uh, the, the plane could be, you know, uh, had that already taken off, somebody could be tripping and they have to ground the plane and that end up delaying other, other passengers' time and, and so forth. So, you know what I'm saying, though, okay? This has happened, this incident where they had these type of infractions like this happened to over 5,000 flights so far this year. Okay. Um, and also, you don't want this to happen. Okay. Because you could end up being put on the no fly list. And I probably need to do a video on that no fly list. Okay. But that there's been more significantly more people on that no fly list because of incidents like this. I know that people are frustrated over this mass uh, mandate. You know, people got to get to where they got to go. But, hey, I'm living in Las Vegas trying to get out east, back to Virginia or, like, Tennessee or Philadelphia, okay, to my family. And I ain't trying to get put on no no-fly list where I'm ending up trying to take the Greyhound. No disrespect to that, but I got to get to where I got to go quickly. Okay? So this is something to think about. It doesn't matter if you're in the terminal or you're on the flight or whatever, Okay? If you got a problem with these flight attendants, all you have to do is just get out of line. You could get off the plane or whatever and just schedule a plane, uh, another flight, okay, before it takes off, all right? But if you have a problem in these in this terminal with some of these uh, employees, and and don't rule out these employees because they're also frustrated, too. They're miserable. They, some, many of them have miserable lives. And I'm telling you that from working at Las Vegas Airport for three years, for interacting with these these uh, some of these pilots as well. If you got a problem, you go escalate it. Walk away, escalate that to somebody 
of some more importance or whatever, or you could call or you can go to the customer service office or whatever and have them to deal with it. Okay. That's the best thing to do because you try to go up against these, these flight attendants and these pilots and so forth, or any other air, uh, these, um, employees at the airport or whatever, you're going to lose out. I can tell you that right now. Okay. You're going to lose every time, but on a, on a situation like this, all right, just be careful about where you would you put uh, where you put your hands at and who you put your hands on. So that's it. Let me know what you think about this video. Feel free to subscribe, like, share, leave your comments. Thanks for listening, y'all.